Being a homemaker is great. You can take a nap anytime you want. And three meals a day are included with the house. If I were reborn, I'd want to be a woman too. Seriously, they call women like mom parasites. Ha ha ha, that's right. My husband and Ricky enjoy such a conversation behind my back as I wash the dishes. So, what about the dinner you two are eating? Who's cooking and who's making the choices? My name is Kathy. I live with my husband Michael and our university student son Ricky. Every day, I receive insults like parasite from both my husband and son. Admittedly, I'm currently unemployed and a homemaker, but there is a valid reason for becoming one. Before marrying my husband, I was actively working in a demanding job. On the other hand, my husband's job involves frequent transfers and business trips. He asked me to become a homemaker. And although I loved my job, I had to quit and focus on our family to be with him. His job often took us far from my hometown. Adapting to unfamiliar places was challenging at times. But we were reasonably happy as a family of three. Fast forward ten years from our marriage, around the time our son entered elementary school, my nomadic life is finally over. From now on, we'll be moving near my parents' place. Eh? Near your parents' place? More than joy. Surprise took precedence. Yeah, I hope to be closer to my parents. It's easier for both you and Ricky to settle down, right? That's true, but. While settling down in one place as my husband suggested would be convenient, I couldn't bring myself to be happy about this fact. That's because my in laws had disliked me since the beginning of our marriage. A wife upon entering the household prioritizes her husband. Since you became a daughter in law, you have to serve us too. Every time they spoke, my in laws would say this I'm happy to have settled down, but now my in laws are calling me frequently. What to buy? What to do with all the mother child stuff? They take advantage of the fact that I'm a housewife and give me a lot of work. After several months of living like this, my patience had reached its peak. My in laws treat me like a slave every day, and my husband doesn't help me at all, even when I ask for advice. I got tired of even looking at these faces and decided to take this opportunity to start working part time. Just then, my parents in law had an accident while on vacation. Although the other side was unharmed, both of them are now in need of care because of the accident. Even in this situation, my husband's carefree attitude remained unchanged. Kathy, you are a stay at home mom, so you can watch dad and mom at home, right? Huh? What are you talking about? I responded to my husband's words with confusion. Take care of your parents? All by myself? What's wrong with that? Ricky is already in elementary school. And my parents want to stay at home. A housewife just hangs around during the day, so why not do that? You can't just ask me suddenly. I've never done caregiving and taking care of both at the same time. Stop making excuses. Who do you think allowed you to lead such a lazy life as a housewife until now? Lazing around during the day? A lazy life? Didn't you ask me to quit my job in the first place, saying you wanted me to be a homemaker? I do everything around the house. Just how selfish can you be? If we didn't have a son, I would have definitely divorced you. I couldn't forgive my husband's words at that time. In the end, I ended up taking care of my in laws. Their bodies are the only things restricted. Their minds are perfectly healthy. My in laws, as if venting their pent up frustrations, relentlessly bullied me. Kathy, 
You are useless. Can't you do anything right as a wife? Oh, I'm sorry. After sipping the tea I brewed, my father-in-law suddenly threw the teacup at me. How can anyone drink such a lukewarm tea? Ah, honestly, even though you are a full-time housewife, can't you even brew a decent cup of tea? The overbearing behavior wasn't limited to just my father-in-law. My mother-in-law was equally unbearable. Hey, Kathy, isn't the bath ready yet? My body feels sticky and uncomfortable. Just a moment, please wait. Enough! Just hurry up and wipe my back. I can't reach it. Like this? Ouch! Oh, sorry. Honestly, your stress is too much. My son is unlucky to get such a useless wife. Naturally, consulting my husband brought no help. On top of that, he casually says, You are the wife, so it's natural to serve my parents. Without offering any assistance, as I continued caring for my in-laws, I no longer felt anything. Though it was tough, my senses seemed to have become numb somewhere along the way. No matter how much I was verbally abused or had things thrown at me, I told myself that it would eventually end. I endured until that point. So, I convinced myself and managed to get through each day. Several years later, as dementia began, the care level for my in-laws increased, and they decided to move to a care facility. The burden on me who had spent most of my day in caregiving, noticeably lightened. However, over these years, the disrespect from my husband and in-laws had taken a toll and influenced my son Ricky. Today, once again, Ricky mocks me. Hey mom, now that grandpa and grandma don't need care anymore, are you slacking off? It's annoying to see you comfortably eating on Dad's hard-earned money. Ricky, well said. Dad was fed up with Mom's thick-skinned attitude too. By the way, Mom, have you gained weight? Probably because she's only eating after finishing caregiving. Oh, did you think I didn't notice, Mom? Dad noticed too, but he couldn't bring himself to say it. In front of me, the two speaking politely without hesitation. If I retreat from the situation, they will deliberately insult me loudly enough to be heard. Every day was like this, and understandably, the stress had reached its limit. At such a time, a situation occurred that exceeded my capacity. While I was washing dishes after dinner, my husband and son began their usual conversation. Being a housewife is nice, huh? You can take a nap anytime and have a house with meals provided. If I were reborn, I'd want to be a woman too. Totally. Mom, you're like a parasite. That's what they call it. Ha ha ha, that's right. Even if I get married, I don't want a parasite like you, Mom, with zero productivity. At that moment, I heard a snapping sound in my head. A parasite. This is no joke. What about the dinner you all just ate? Who do you think does the dishes? And the clothes you're wearing? And the house you live in? Who do you think does the laundry and takes care of it all? I won't forgive them. I will make sure they regret pushing me this far. Determined for revenge, I started looking for a job the next day. It's a waste to spend any more time on these people. So, I thought of working for my own future. Fortunately, I quickly found a job that suited me. My previous job was a nurse. With my nursing qualifications and sufficient work experience, finding a job was easy. I'm sure Michael knows I'm a nurse. Don't they at least know that there are plenty of work opportunities out there, if you are qualified or don't they? That night, I informed my husband and son, 
who are enjoying the usual conversation that I've decided to start working from tomorrow. They briefly widen their eyes and then burst into laughter. Huh? What are you talking about? Who would hire a stay at home wife like you? Exactly. Ha <laughs> ha. A clumsy old lady like mom has no value anywhere. Anyway, it's probably just a short part time job, right? It's a waste of time, so better not to bother. Mom can only handle household chores, you know. Just quietly follow dad's instructions. Looking down at the two of them, I firmly declared, I'm a full time, permanent employee. Eh? Ah.、Uh, full time? Full time? You are? Mom, they hired you full time? That's right. So from now on, I will contribute half of the living expenses. In return, I will appreciate it if we can split the household chores. Huh? What's that about? Household chores are your job, right? Yeah, taking care of the house is mom's duty. To the shouting husband and son, I deliver the final blow. Huh? Household chores were considered work? I've never received any salary for it. Wasn't being a stay at home wife about having a relaxed life with the freedom to take a nap anytime, enjoying three meals provided, and leading a laid back life? Ugh. Unconvinced, they continue to grumble and complain, but I ignore them. The next day, I resumed working. I handled only the essential household chores and dedicated myself to my beloved job outside. Despite the challenges of returning to work after a hiatus, it was much more fulfilling than before. Since then, my husband and son began to conspicuously praise and flatter me. In an exaggerated manner. Making meals is more challenging than I thought. No kidding, mom's cooking is seriously amazing. I haven't had her cooking in a while. I want some. Seriously, seriously, mom is amazing. Even when it comes to laundry, it's got to be mom. I can only do basic stuff like separating darts and whites. You think I'm going to say, It can't be helped. I glance at my husband and son, who are trying to please me, and bluntly dismiss them. Huh? I'm working too, you know. How about you guys handle meals and laundry yourselves? What the? What are you saying to your husband? We can't live without my income. No, not at all. I never said anything like that. Huh? Yeah. My current salary is almost the same as my husband's. In fact, considering the size of the hospital where I work, I earn slightly more. My husband, who could no longer say anything, became somewhat quiet after this. But now my son, who had found a job, began to take advantage of me. Hey, since you're working too, I don't need to contribute to household expenses, right? My husband nods in agreement, lurking behind. Right. Or maybe we should make her cover all the daily expenses. Saying we can live without my income is just arrogant. Dad, great idea. It increases our pocket money, killing two birds with one stone. I was truly disgusted by their conversation, which was at an elementary school level or even below. Well, Then do all the housework yourselves, please. Manage the living expenses within my personal budget. Huh? Why is that so? The premise is you are a housewife, remember? That is right. Even now you are making your own choices on your behalf. If you're being a homemaker, I was an individual. I'm not your housekeeper. Damn it! Besides, You should be grateful I even allowed you to work in the first place. That's right. I've been enduring Dad's nagging all this time, working hard as a student. At that point, my husband nonchalantly took out divorce papers from his bag. 
He slammed them onto the desk in front of me, staring at it. I asked quietly, "What is this? Can't you see by looking? It's a divorce notice. My section is already filled out. I can cut ties with a divorce at any time, you know." You want a divorce? I'm not saying that. You don't want a divorce either, right? I will give you one day. During that time, cool your head and think about what's best for you. Understood. With a grinning husband and son in the background, I began to pack my things. Hey, how are you going to handle this? As my husband asked, I turned around and replied. I will stay at a business hotel near the workplace for a while. Fine, understood. Take some time there to cool off. And so, I headed to the business hotel. It wasn't just for a while. I had no intention of returning to that house anymore. I checked into the hotel and continued commuting directly from there the next day. This continued for several days. I was relaxing with a drink after returning home when I received a phone call from my husband. Kathy, have you made up your mind? Both Ricky and I are hungry, so come back and make dinner. I made up my mind, but I won't be coming back. What? What are you saying? Your son and husband are waiting hungry for you. I'm waiting for you, okay? As a housewife. Can't you value your family? We are not a family anymore. My husband, who did not understand the statement, said, "What?" in a confused voice. "Thanks for the divorce papers. I gratefully submitted them." "What are you talking about? You submitted divorce papers? Is this a joke?" "A joke? You wouldn't joke about something like this, right?" You and I are truly complete strangers. What is this? You are doing whatever you want. What about Ricky? He's about to graduate from college soon, and can live on his own, right? He already has a job lined up.、Uh, are you abandoning your family? What about it? Hey, wait a minute! After saying just that, I hung up the phone. Since then, I kept rejecting his calls as they became a nuisance. To avoid causing trouble for my parents, I explained the situation to them and asked for peace. This became an opportunity for me to decide to return to my parents' house. Luckily, the branch of the workplace where I currently work is near my parents' house. I asked my boss to transfer me there. Now. I rented an apartment near both my workplace and my parents' house, working full time as before. Being a full time nurse is already busy, and having my workplace close to home is quite convenient. On weekends, I visit my parents, and I've increased the time spent with them. Kathy, feel free to come and visit any time. That's right. You've been working so hard all this time. Thank you, Dad, Mom. Both of you. My parents praised and encouraged me with those words. On the other hand, my ex-husband and son seem to have struggled with daily chores, and now the house has turned into a mess. A week after leaving home, I receive a message from my son. It's impossible without you, Mom. We can't endure this kind of life anymore. Dad and I are both at a major breaking point. Please help us, Mom. Looking at the messages from my son, it was clear the situation was dire. The mountain of empty delivery containers hints at the fact that no cooking has been done. A pile of trash bags and laundries here and there, and the floor covered in accumulated dust and more. It's become a garbage dump to a degree. Incomparable to the past, to such a son, I simply replied, "I hope you find your parasite soon." Whether that response struck a nerve or not, I haven't received any messages from my son since. I have no regrets now.
I've done everything I could, putting in efforts to maintain familial relationships. Even so, if they look down on me to that extent, I'd rather be done with such a family. In the future, I want to indulge myself a lot. After enduring so much, I plan to live a happy life.